What's up y'all? It's Troy and I'm here to show you how to use Pulumi to dig your way out of that ClickOps hole you found yourself in. So imagine this. You, a valiant keyboard warrior skilled in the dark arts of Python, just joined a new company to do DevOps and inherited some cloud infrastructure. The person before you just clicked around in AWS making things instead of using infrastructure as code to manage it. Ugh. We call that ClickOps. Congratulations, you found yourself in a ClickOps hole. The biggest problem with ClickOps is reproducibility. There is no easy way to reliably recreate the environment. Suppose you want to be able to create a staging environment to test some changes, and you also want to be able to recreate the production environment in case of disaster. With ClickOps, that's a serious pain. Well, let's fix that using Pulumi. First, let's have a look at the existing infrastructure. We're going to use the AWS CLI and see what we have already. Here we use AWS EC2 Describe VPCs to show a list of VPCs. Let's look at that in JQ. All right, there's quite a few here. Cool. So Pulumi will let us describe all of that in code, but that would be a lot of typing. Luckily, we can import this existing infrastructure with a single command, Pulumi import. And that'll take a list of resources in JSON format and output it in a Python Pulumi program. So how do we get that JSON? It's a bit of a complicated topic, but for the purposes of this video, we will use a little demo tool that uses Python's Botto library, which can scrape your AWS account and find resources to import. It generates Pulumi compatible JSON, which we can then use to generate a Pulumi program in Python. Let's try it. Okay, great. Let's look at that JSON file. You can see we have a list of entries here with the type of resource, the name, and the ID. So in this case, we have more than one VPC here. Let's just focus on the one called Thor. We can filter that out with a quick JQ expression. Okay, that looks a lot better. We're seeing just the resources associated with the Thor VPC. Let's go ahead and dump that to a file. Okay, now for the magic. Let's import that into Pulumi and generate a Python file. The Pulumi import command takes the JSON we just created and outputs a Python file. All right, great. Let's see what that made for us. Here we have all of our resources. Let's see if Pulumi can understand this. All right, so Pulumi realizes that there is nothing to change here because everything is already running and is as we described it. So let's go ahead and make a small edit and see if Pulumi can work with that. Okay, Pulumi sees that we made a change, and so let's go ahead and run that change. Okay, we see that worked. We see the updated tag I love Pulumi on VPC Thor, which tells me that VPC Thor is now under management by Pulumi. So to review, we used the Python Botto library to create a list of resources we wanted to bring under management by Pulumi. Then we used the Pulumi import command to import those resources and convert them to Python. We could have just as easily done that in JavaScript, Go, C Sharp, or any of the other many languages that Pulumi supports. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description for more resources, including all the code I showed in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be back with more videos to show you the many, many ways that you can upgrade your infrastructure management with Pulumi. See you next time.